We're excited to share our 10 best practices series with you and hope you find it valuable. If you do, please show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing, it means a lot to us. ChatGPT is a powerful AI language model that can help you improve your blog posts in various ways. However, to get the most value from this tool, it's important to follow some best practices. In this video, we'll go over 10 of the most effective ways to use ChatGPT to enhance your blog writing. Be specific. When asking ChatGPT to help with your writing, it's important to be specific about what you want it to do. This means that you should provide clear and detailed prompts to the model, outlining the specific task or goal you want it to accomplish. The more specific your prompts are, the more likely it is that the model will produce text that is relevant and on topic. For example, you could ask ChatGPT to write an introduction for a blog post on the benefits of yoga. Use seed text. Seed text is a way to give ChatGPT a starting point for generating text. This can be especially helpful if you're not sure how to begin a blog post or if you're stuck on a certain section. By providing seed text, you can guide ChatGPT in the direction you want it to go and get better results. The seed text can be a sentence or a paragraph, even a previous text on the topic you want to expand upon, that you provide as the starting point for the model. Utilize templates. Templates are pre-written text that can serve as a guide for ChatGPT to generate the desired type of text. Templates can be used to make sure that the generated text has a consistent structure, tone, and style. For example, you can use a template for writing a product review, a how-to guide or a blog post introduction. By using a template, you can ensure that the generated text will have a consistent structure and style, making it easier for you to edit and polish before publishing. Use keywords. Using relevant keywords throughout your blog post can help it rank higher in search engine results. When you're working with ChatGPT, you can use keywords to guide it in the direction you want it to go. For example, if you're writing a blog post about SEO, you might ask ChatGPT to include specific terms like meta tags or backlinks. This can also help your text rank in the search engines and increase traffic to your blog. Provide feedback. Providing feedback to ChatGPT is one of the most effective ways to improve the quality of the generated text. When you receive the generated text, read it carefully and make notes of any areas that need improvement. You can then provide that feedback to ChatGPT, which will help it better understand your preferences and generate text that more closely matches your desired style and tone. Feedback can also help the model to improve its overall performance. Utilize APIs ChatGPT APIs can be utilized for more specific tasks, like summarizing a text, question answering, or even sentiment analysis. Utilizing APIs can not only save you time but also give you highly relevant and specific outputs to your queries. Additionally, APIs can help you to automate the process of editing, proofreading and even publishing your blog post. With APIs, you can also access to more advanced feature like language translation, text completion and much more. Keep it concise. When working with ChatGPT, it's important to keep in mind that the tool is designed to generate large amounts of text quickly. However, that doesn't mean that every generated text will be suitable for your blog post. It's important to edit the generated text to make sure it's clear concise, and to the point. This means that you should be prepared to spend some time going over the generated text, removing any redundant or unnecessary information. Optimize for social media. When creating a blog post with ChatGPT, it's important to keep in mind that the text may also be shared on social media platforms. 
To optimize for social media, consider using shorter paragraphs, images, and videos. Also, make sure the text is easy to read and understand, as social media users are often in a hurry and may not have time to read a long and complex article. Additionally, you can also use a strategy of creating shorter versions of the text for social media sharing. Test and Experiment One of the best ways to get the most out of ChatGPT is to test and experiment with different inputs and settings. For example, you might try using different seed text or templates to see how they affect the generated text. You can also try adjusting the temperature or other settings to see how they affect the final result. With experimentation, you'll start to understand how ChatGPT works and learn how to get the best results for your blog posts. Proofread and edit Finally, it's important to proofread and edit the generated text before publishing it on your blog. Even though ChatGPT is a powerful AI tool, it's not perfect and may produce text with errors or inconsistencies. By proofreading and editing the text, you'll ensure that it's clear, accurate, and free of errors before you publish it. This can also include checking for plagiarism to ensure that the text generated is original and not taken from other sources. ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for improving your blog writing, but to get the most out of it, it's important to follow best practices. By being specific, using seed text and templates, providing feedback, and proofreading and editing the final text, you can ensure that your blog posts are of the highest quality and that your readers will find them engaging and informative. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future videos. Your support means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Thank you and see you in the next one.